Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You are watching Sampath Samfax YouTube channel, and in this video, I am going to explain regarding there is some problem regarding flashing method of Android 14 ROMs in Redmi Note 7 Pro. That I need to explain neatly where you get problems, what recovery you should use, what homeware you should use, why it is getting problem, how to flash custom ROM using DFE method. I mean, without uh, formatting data method that's only available for Redmi Note 7 Pro as of now. You need to get those links. I mean, I'll be giving those links in the description. In order to get those, you need to join my WhatsApp group. Guys, dedicated WhatsApp group is available for Redmi Note 7 Pro. You can kindly ask those links there. I'll be giving the latest GWRP in this video. Also, the firmware and ROM zip files it will be anyhow you will be getting in my individual videos. If not, you can collect it from telegram the redmi notes on or the violet photography or violet community group you will get those things i will be giving those links also in whatsapp group just join that redmi notes on pro whatsapp group guys in this video i am going to explain why we are not enabled to flash the custom roms on redmi notes on pro actually you can flash but there is some problem if you can use older recoveries you are getting some problems and there is an updated twrp recovery that link is also be given in the whatsapp group guys hence recommended to join in the whatsapp group of redmi notes i will be giving those links there and you need to update the recovery that i will be explaining within a while in order to understand everything in detail stay tuned till the end of the video and if you first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like and let's begin this video First thing is check out if uh, all the files are copied to your uh, storage as you can see I kept in micro SD card if you have OTG you can use that too as you can see this is the firmware I am having and recovery I have downloaded that that's the latest actually and ROMs you can see some of them are given I'll be showing one by one and also check out in the settings uh, go into security and check out if the screen lock is kept keep it none nothing should be kept here yeah now if it is a advanced restart button available as you can see it's available i can directly boot into recovery if you don't have that just press the volume up button and power button to boot into recovery there's a moonlight silver i have whichever color you have redmi note 7 pro let me know in the comment section guys as you can see you can see the redmi note 7 pro logo and this is the latest twrp recovery i recommend to flash the same if you are on the older recovery how to come to this recovery that's the step number one yeah now you need to go into install and i need to select the storage here micro hd as you can see and go to download and select the recovery it will be not be showing just select here install image now it will be showing it out select this latest one and also press here as it is a recovery and swipe here to confirm and one more guys uh, here i want to show one more thing in older recovery there you might face one problem while selecting the storage you will not get to select the internal storage even the micro sd card in that case use the otg i recommend again use the otg if that is also not available there is one more method just flash using this pcr laptop now as our i am getting that i'll just select here and select it to record and swipe to confirm flash i'll be booted into latest recovery if i can go and select here reboot and select the recovery now i will be booted into that latest recovery however i am already on the same recovery as you can see bootloader is unlocked and redmi note 7 pro logo and powered by android as you can see this is the latest twrp recovery you need to flash using pc or the using otg because in earlier uh, recoveries you might not get the access of internal storage and even the micro sd card these things you need to keep in mind what are the problems i faced i am experiencing i'll be explaining to you such that you will not go the same things now once you need to flash the roms go to wipe section here and select advanced wipe dalvik art cache cache metadata data that's it you need not to wipe micro sd card or usb storage or internal storage just wipe here to confirm now done 
now select install and select here micro sd yeah now this is the problem again you guys can see micro sd card again it will be not showing it out okay internal storage is showing micro sd is not going to store it out guys hence you need to use again otg that's why in order to go to wipe you select here advanced wipe and select dalvik catch and catch it that's it go and swipe here now as you can see done unable to mount storage because we selected some wrong file now select micro sd card it will not get again go to reboot and select here recovery you might get that options or else you need to reinsert the micro sd i mean this slot here this is the problems facing currently in Redmi Note 7 Pro, even with latest recovery that you need to keep in mind. Now again select here storage. Yeah, however it is getting. Just don't wipe other sections case. Now go into download and select the firmware here. This is the firmware I have. Just flash it. As you can see, it's getting flashed. So wiping dot art cache cache is just enough no need to wipe anything else in order to access the sd card now again go to install and select the uh, rom zip file uh, some people explained me to i mean requested me to flash this evolution x as you can see let me flash the same only as you can see this is the latest version of evolution x for redmi note 7 pro i think i have made the dedicated review of that just the older version but anyhow now it will going to be get flashed by the way guys i have made dedicated videos on redmi note sample these are the things you need to keep in mind guys even after flashing the rom there are two different methods don't skip the video guys and these are the things you need to keep in mind don't wipe each and everything in the wipe section just select those two options what i have explained here if you wipe other things you will not get the access of sd card even sometimes internal storage also it's a difficult way to flash any custom roms you need to keep in mind all these things it might be a lengthy video but i want to make it very clear that these things shouldn't be happen for you and let's see how long it will take to flash the rom yeah done now there are two methods one you guys know using format data method just go to home section and select here wipe and select here format data and type here yes and press this tick button that is one way the other method is very simple using dfa method without actually deleting that uh, in order to do that first i will show you the internal storage as you can see i took some photograph here you can see it anyhow file manager yeah i haven't signed it because to show you very faster even the gallery application is also not there here anyhow there are some photograph i taken of docs that will be present if i don't do format data method that too in internal storage let's see that second method just press and hold here and use the advanced restart button to boot into recovery again i will flash some other rom without doing format data method that's the thing people use it for this redmi note sample that was there from before yeah as you can see it's you all getting these problems because of the recovery just update the recovery guys that i already spoken in the previous video but someone asked me to make this dedicated video and so i'm making this out guys yeah now go to wipe again as you remember only press these two options dalvik art catch and catch just swipe to wipe it done now go to install and select here micro sd as you can see you can access the micro sd card now select again firmware as usual done now select the rom zip file i will select here different rom for example we'll go with this project jeffress okay flash it it takes a little bit of time to flash the rom wait until it gets flashed as you can see guys now the rom zip file has been flashed successfully here now usually we do format data method that's the safe method actually but we have the option of flashing this like this go to this dfe version 5 and flash here as you can see it should get a successful let's see yeah if you data is encrypted format it now and then reboot it shows like that but anyhow we'll do reboot system 
we'll see if it can boot into project jeffras or not this is another method everything is working the main problem is with the recovery update your old recovery as you can see it's booted into the jeffras os and one more thing is uh, don't force to boot or anything boot into recovery or boot into fast boot once the rom getting flash for the first time i mean the boot it for the first time wait for it also some of the roms may not support the dfe5 that you need to keep in mind that was shown in the message what we seen in the recovery you need to keep these things uh, in mind while flashing any custom roms on redmi note 7 hope you guys understood this video i think you will not face any problems for redmi note 7 if you have still specific questions regarding this you can ask me in the comment section we'll meet you with another interesting video guys until that keep smiling bye bye for now